question sounds uh, briefly describe the advantages and disadvantages of the following technologies. Okay, so um, the technologies given to me, uh, there are three types of technologies. So uh, one of them is solar farm. Uh, the number two is hydropower using them for water catchment, and the third one is geothermal. And uh, I will describe briefly uh, regarding these three technologies. Okay, so uh, we go to the first technologies, which is the uh, solar farm. Uh, as we all know, solar farm we use the uh, we harness the energy from the electric uh, from the sun, sorry, to generate electricity. And of course, uh, there will be advantages and disadvantages with all the technology used. So, uh, for the advantages, first of all, is it utilizes unused land. So the keyword here is utilize unused land. That's the keyword, and that is the explanation. Okay, uh, because. Uh, we oftenly uh, install the solar farm, uh, I mean the solar PV, in an unused land. So it will not bother any other person or people. Okay, so the second one is um, environmental friendly as it doesn't produce pollution. In example, air, sound and water. So yeah, solar farm is environmental friendly. It doesn't produce uh, gases. It doesn't produce uh, loud noise and everything, so it is environmental friendly. Okay, now the third one is uh, all of the technologies can use the electricity generated to the grid to counteract the electric fields. So the keyword here is counteract the electric fields. As we all know, uh, long ago we can use the generated electricity sent to the grid to uh, as an income, as profit, but nowadays. We can only use it to counter our electric field uh, monthly. Okay, uh, and the last one is utilizes building structure to generate electricity while saving spaces. So instead of using unused land, we can also install the PV modules on the building itself. For instance, um, the roof, the side of the building, and yeah, anywhere that we could install it. So it wouldn't uh, bother to use uh, unused land or anything. So, uh, we move to these advantages. Uh, first of all, is negligence while manufacturing, installing, and disposing of the technology can cause bad effects to environment, health, and safety. So, the keyword here is negligence. Negligence means petroya. Uh, so, uh, yeah, because we deal with the PV module and it may use some chemicals that might be bad for health. So if we why and you no, know, it will cause bad effects to uh, and the second one, health and safety issues to anyone who gets in close range, especially workers as, as it uses hazardous chemical uh, such as cadmium and arsenic. So to build a PV module we use cadmium and arsenic as one of its uh, I mean one of its material uh, so it is quite dangerous and people who work especially close with the PV modules have to get a higher risk for their health and safety and the last one is it may endanger wildlife species due to large spaces of land are needed to install the technology okay uh, I said before it is an advantage if you use unused land but then it could become a disadvantage too because the unused land might not be used by humans, but it might be habitat by uh, animals and plants. So, yeah, it, is. it can endanger well wildlife species. We move on to the hydropower. So, hydropower is by harnessing the water flow to generate electricity. So, the advantages will be one, it could control, uh, we could control the generation of electricity. This can be done by controlling the wind turbine. Uh, so uh, the second one is environmental friendly as it uses water as fuel. So we don't use real fuel, but instead we use water to generate electricity. And it is environmental friendly. Okay. So the third one offers recreational opportunities to public such as fishing, swimming, and boating. Uh, so to build or to construct hydropower technology, we must have a dam. So this dam can 
be used for these recreational opportunities. So it can be open to public and they could gain advantage from the opening of the hydropower station. Okay, and the last one is become a source of water supply. Also can control the flood in certain areas. Uh, because the operation of the dam, we can control the gate to uh, allow water flow. I mean, the flow, rate of flow of the water, we can control that. So if there's uh, heavy rain and all, we can just shut down a little bit of the gate of the dam. And the disadvantages of the hydropower. First of all, the construction of reservoir can affect wildlife habitats and cause changes to the river ecosystem. Yeah, just like uh, just now we've used the solar power, we changed the uh, earth geometry, so it will cause uh, effect to the wildlife habitats. Uh, especially especially the habitat in the river and then the second one is fish population is affected due to the inability to migrate either upstream to okay, I believe uh, I might have forgot to put something here uh, actually the real one is fish population is affected due to inability to migrate either upstream to spawning ground and also downstream to the ocean Okay, and the third one is can be impacted by drought. So drought is musim uh, kemarau. When musim kemarau, we have less water, so it is less advantages. Now we move on to the last one, geothermal. Okay, advantage of the geothermal. Uh, first of all, it is one of the large scale of power generation source, and it doesn't require large areas of land. So. We could harness uh, higher electricity without having to be, having to consume large carrier. And the second one is environmental friendly, as no greenhouse gases are produced. The third one, low maintenance costs due to less moving part use. And so, okay. now the disadvantages. First is the high startup cost. Uh, because geothermal is uh, not widely spread, so we have to research for areas to find the suitable place and we have to the drilling of the of making the geothermal power plant is quite high because it's almost the same as drilling the oil drilling almost the same as drilling the oil drilling machine yes. and the construction and the second one disturb the natural landscape of the earth just like the other Lack of equipment and expertise due to not fully widespread is what I've mentioned before. It's not uh, used widely, so we may be lacking equipment and expertise to build this geothermal uh, power plant. And the last one is potential emission of greenhouse gas from below of the surface. So, yeah, the advantage is that doesn't produce greenhouse gases, but if we drill the I mean, the area too deep, some greenhouse gas <coughs> from below the earth might come up. So it could be advantage and disadvantage at the same time. So we have to be, I mean, balanced. Right. Okay, uh, so this is the references where you can obtain the, I mean, the knowledge that I found, all from the internet, and one is from Lecture like, Notes by Dr. Ahmad Matiloma. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.